five things every sub should know. Uh, so first of all, obviously the dress code, make sure you don't wear any Levi's and you should be safe in that regard. So uh, just no Levi's, especially not any with, with, uh, with holes and these kinds of things. You want to look professional. Uh, when you come into the building, there will be a sign-in sheet, each of the different buildings. Each one has a little bit different way of, of having you sign in. So there will be a sheet there. You just sign into that. And then uh, administration will take you to your classroom. Uh, make sure that you have everything there. The teachers will have prepared lesson plans. And know that the kids know the routine really well. And so uh, you can trust them to kind of help you guide, help guide you through the day. Now, the three areas I want to talk about in terms of safety is, first of all, when there is a, uh, an evacuation, if you hear the fire alarm, uh, make sure that it is a legitimate one. You might uh, just take a second and check with the other uh, grade level teachers or other teachers around you to make sure that it's a legitimate one. Some of the buildings have a little bit different procedure in that regard, so that there's not a false alarm. But uh, uh, and, you, and you can ask the other teachers how that is done. But that is when you would evacuate the building and uh, uh, the other teachers will help guide you through that. Then we have what's called a shelter in place. The shelter in place is when there is a danger outside the building, which might be weather. It might be uh, some kind of uh, an escaped inmate or this type of thing in the, in the neighborhood. Uh, with the danger outside, then we would call a shelter in place. We would lock all the doors. Administration would make sure of who's coming in and out of the building so that uh, we, we know exactly what's going on there. But you go on about your business as usual inside the classroom. There would be no activities outside until the shelter in place is lifted. The last is the lockdown. The lockdown is when there is a severe danger inside the building. This may be announced by administration saying lockdown, 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 or it may be that you hear gunshots and it's, it's unannounced, but you know that it is some kind of uh, big time threat inside the building. Uh, this is where you run, you hide, and you fight. Um, depending on the situation, uh, you can get the kids inside the building or get, get them inside the classroom, uh, lock the doors, hide the kids the best way you can. A lot of this you may have to think your way through. What is the best thing that I can do to keep the kids safe at this time? And then um, think your way through that, but keep them safe. Run, hide, and then fight. That means station yourself at the door and be prepared to fight back. Uh, and do not open the door if someone says, oh, this is, uh, uh, it's over now, you can come out. If, if the drill is over, or if the if the lockdown is legitimately over, and people in administration or law enforcement is outside the door, they will identify themselves, and uh, you don't open the door, you let them open the door and uh, come in. But still, be prepared with whatever you might have available to fight back. Okay. We don't want to alarm everybody, but we want to have them be aware of the possibilities of, of what goes on. Okay, again, uh, we thank you for choosing Madison School District. Thank you for being a sub here. If you have any questions, it's best to think through these things ahead of time and uh, check with each building administration as, as you come in. If you have any questions on any deviations from what I've told you that are specific to their building. Thanks again for choosing Madison and uh, have a great day.